Hello there. It's me, an introvert. I'm shy, quiet, lonely, socially awkward, and I hate other people. <laughs> nah, that's just what people perceive when they think about introverts. But how much of it is actually true? So I thought I should share my thoughts on this subject, uh, because as I've mentioned before in my videos, I am an introvert. Now, all of those qualities that I shared before, uh, I'm not saying that they have nothing to do with introversion. It's it's just the the things are, aren't that black and white. It's a lot more complicated than that. So the definition for introversion in the dictionary is someone who is shy or who is socially awkward. Now again, things aren't that simple and introversion may be related to shyness and social awkwardness but it's 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 not that simple it's there are a lot of things involving introversion uh, that may lead to shyness or uh, social awkwardness but I don't think they're directly connected what I mean is uh, many extroverts are socially awkward or shy and many introverts are not shy or socially awkward. I think Susan Cain uh, in her book Quiet gave a pretty good definition. Introversion is a preference for environments that are not overstimulating. Now in our current society introversion isn't very isn't a very ideal personality type and uh, we're always told to be social in, in schools, in our offices, and in our homes by our parents. We're always told to be social and to love to interact with people. And that's what I find very idiotic that we have to want to interact with people. And that's the reason why many people don't accept themselves as they are. It's okay to not like group projects uh, because maybe that's not how you work best. Uh, it's okay to prefer sitting alone or sitting with a few friends than sitting in a large gathering. According to researches, 30 to 35 percent of people are are introverts, and yet still, as Susan Cain says in her book. Uh, we are living in a extroverted ideal world. The people who talk more are perceived as smarter or, or happier, which is totally not the case. I mean, there have been many successful, successful introverts in history. Uh, uh, Nikola Tesla is one of the most smartest people ever lived on Earth, was an I was extremely introverted. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Wozniak and um, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and there are many more. And happiness or success doesn't have anything to do with introversion or extrover extroversion or with uh, talking more or talking less. Introverts are also perceived lonely. Uh, which is, I think, fair because introverts spend a lot of time alone. But there's a difference between loneliness and solitude. We spend a lot of time in solitude, but we don't feel lonely al when we're alone, uh, unlike extroverts. Uh, we do sometimes feel lonely, but then that's the time when we socialize. That is the time when we f feel the need of socializing which is very less compared to the time we don't feel lonely and we spend uh, and we spend that time in solitude so i think it's very important to understand ourselves and accept who we are and i made this video to because there is a lot of uh i won't call misinformation but misleading information uh, online uh, about introversion so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.